Fame changes people. It ignites their deepest desires or gives them power. For some people, power comes from fame, others from different means. And for the rest, it is inherited from their families, just like Lil Dirk's. Left to fend for himself on the south side of Chicago, Illinois, a hotbed of gang wars, drugs, and robbery, picking up a lifestyle like his father's was almost a foregone conclusion. Let me take you on a ride to find out more about Lil Durk. Lil Durk was born on October 19, 1992. All that's known about Lil Durk's mother is that she was a nurse who was involved with Dante Banks, Lil Durk's father. He has a brother named D-Fang, who's appeared in a lot of his music videos. His full name is Dirk D. Banks, and he grew up in the Englewood district of the south side of Chicago. After an experience that left him to grow up too fast at the tender age of seven months, it would soon become a case of like father, like son. Keep watching to find out the experience that left him fighting for survival. Lil Dirk had to run around to make ends meet, even just to get food. This dangerous environment led to several hard choices on Lil Durk's part to survive. As a teenager, jail cells were beginning to become a familiar place as he was arrested and charged for weapons possession. His love and support for music started from listening to and watching a lot of music videos on TV. After the success of Sneak Dissin' and I'm a Hitta, he took up rap as a full-time career. His love life hasn't been as successful as his music career, with an apparent total of six children. He had his first child at the age of 17. Most of the mothers of his children have not been named publicly by Lil Durk. Women he has dated include Nicole Cavone, whom he dated in 2008 and had his first two children with, and India Royale, whom he proposed to and married in 2018. India is the mother of his youngest daughter. His career has also involved a series of deaths, including that of his cousin King Vaughn, who was shot and killed on November 6, 2020. King Vaughn was a member of Dirk's Only the Family Collective and Empire Distribution. Just like Dirk, Vaughn was also a rapper. King Vaughn's manager later said that there was no police involvement in the murder of King Vaughn. There are speculations that King Vaughn was used as a sacrificial lamb and Dirk offered the sacrifice. Vaughn's sister has been out spreading these rumors and calling out Dirk. Another death that occurred with another cousin of Dirk was that of MacArthur Swindle, also known as OTF Nunu. He was shot and killed in Chatham in a parking lot. His shooter walked up and, as he drove off, fired shots at him, killing him instantly. Finally, Dirk's friend was found dead with gunshot wounds outside a studio. His breakthrough in the music industry started from social media. He uploaded videos because he liked to and was overwhelmed with the amount of audience his videos raked in. He practiced the performances in his videos by replicating what he saw on TV, but his involvement in certain things off camera made record labels wary of signing him. As his online fan base grew, his confidence grew, and he pushed forward with his career in music. He then created his own music label and image. He was later signed to Def Jam, which he left, and was later signed to Alamo Records. The reason for this departure was because he said he felt restricted and wasn't the top priority that he should have been. He wanted a record label that wouldn't make up excuses when it's time for work, and when he puts his best, he wants to receive their best too. Dirk has reached over 298 million streams on Spotify with his collaboration with Drake on Laugh Now, Cry Later. Another song with well over a million streams is Three-Headed Goat with over 73 million streams. He was nominated for two Grammy Awards for Best Rap Song and Best Melodic Rap Performance. Becoming a father at the age of 17 made him focus on his career as he realized he now had people dependent on him for survival. His life as a singer, rapper, and songwriter has made him a total net worth of $3 million. Dirk has been involved in and is still in several rivalries. A popular one led to the release of a diss track titled BDK 300K. The rivalry was between him, Chief Keef, and gangster disciple Joseph Lil Jojo Coleman. 
It all started after Glow Gang associate Lil Reese made offensive remarks toward the Brick Squad, a rival gang set. Then JoJo's response was released as a diss track, trolling and calling out Chief Keef, Reese, and Dirk. On September 5th, 2012, JoJo was shot and killed. In late 2012, after Lil Dirk was signed by Def Jam and Interscope, a beef between him and Chief Keef's label began to develop. It escalated to social media exchanges and Lil Durk disassociating himself from Keefe's label. Amid this beef, diss tracks were released by Lil Durk addressing the disrespect he felt Keefe had for turning his back on their friendship with Tyga. He calls out Keefe, The Game, Tyga, The Gangsta Disciples, and King L in Nicki Minaj's Chirac. He shouted out the Migos who had a beef with Keefe at that time and the support they had in trying to humiliate Keefe. After two years, Lil Durk and Chief Keefe squashed their feud and mended their differences. King L, another target of the Chirac remix, responded and called the feud a whack movie trailer. This beef was, however, short-lived when King L called his statement a mistake. The call-out of Tyga and the Game on the Chirac remix ignited a feud between the Game, Tyga, and Lil Durk. Waka Flock of Flame, Compton Menace, and 40 Glock's additional involvement in the feud resulted in a war on social media. It was so heated that Lil Durk threatened to holla at Tyga and insinuated he had an affair with Tiffany Cambridge, the game's ex fiance This caused the game to respond with the diss track, Bigger Than Me, which was targeted at Lil Durk, 40 Glock, and 2014's XXL's freshman class. After eight months, Lil Durk squashed the beef with Game, and two weeks after that, he buried his feud with Tyga. In 2016, Tay 600 was accused of testifying against some fellow black disciples in their murder trial. They were Rondo No. 9, C-Day, and D-Row 600. He served as an eyewitness. Tay denied the claims of being a rat in their group, although he had been kicked out and dropped from only the family. His defense was to blame the entire situation on Lil Durk. Like always, Lil Durk responded with a video for his song Pressure and a mixtape called The Truth. He also released a remix to Meek Mill's We Ball with Booker 600, Tay 600's cousin. This infuriated Tay so much that he made his own remix to We Ball, saying Durk's crew OTF stands for, quote, only the fags. The few didn't end there. It resurfaced in September 2017, when Tay criticized his former gang members for not being there for him when he needed them. Dante Banks, also known as Big Dirk, is well known as Lil Dirk's father. But Dante Banks was also known as a major member of the Gangster Disciples street gang. His suppliers got lower sentences in prison after they told prosecutors how they distributed 85 kilos of cocaine to Dante Banks from fall in 1991 to May 1993. Their sentences were reduced because of their cooperation with prosecutors. The Coke Boys music has always had Dirk's father as the central focus. Lil Dirk released several songs talking about needing his father, like in 52 Bars, This Ain't What You Want, Coke Boys 4, paranoid, and act like that. Big Dirk was arrested after he was caught with $8 million and six bricks. In an interview, Lil Dirk confirmed this information and stated he wanted to be just like his father. Big Dirk was arrested in 1993 for his involvement in a crack cocaine distribution ring in Chicago. He was in prison for selling drugs throughout the South Side. He was arrested when Lil Dirk was just seven months old. Dirk believes his father was arrested and locked up because he refused to snitch on Gangsta Disciples founder Larry Hoover. He also added he was not caught with drugs or the supposed $8 million. Dirk has kept in contact with his father, and he said he talked with him every day while he was in prison. Lil Dirk and his cousin King Von were arrested and charged with shooting a man and stealing his $30,000 jewelry and vehicle right outside Atlanta's Varsity Hot Dog. He told reporters he was no longer a part of the Black Disciples and turned himself in to the police. They were both released on bail, and electronic monitoring was set up for them. Later, King Von was shot and killed after a brawl outside an Atlanta lounge, while the attempted murder charges against Dirk are still pending. Like father, like son. 
Just as his father was involved in gang-related fights, drug peddling, and money laundering, Lil Durk has followed in those footsteps. According to the FBI, Big Dirk's $8 million was seized and he was sentenced to life imprisonment, though he won an appeal and was released from prison after 22 years. While in prison, Lil Dirk asked that his father Big Dirk send a message to all the brothers in the same business as them. The message was used in the opening of his mixtape 300 Days, 300 Nights. In his own words, this Dirk, better known on the South Side and throughout the Midwest as Lil Dirk's father, as it started out, I had a life sentence for the stool pigeon who told on me. But by the grace of Allah, I got that blessing and won an appeal, and now I'll be out in a few years to be with my boy, to be with my sons, to be where I'm supposed to be in life, and do the things I'm supposed to do as a father. As always, for those who in the struggle, for those who in the system, for those who in the state system, keep your head, keep fighting. Cowards, rats, don't never win over real dudes. And we gonna keep letting this thing continue to flow. And we'll get out and do what we supposed to do as men and hold our own. And be the fathers we supposed to be. Be the men of the community we supposed to be.